Hi, this is Gail with Gail Southern Living. So today I'm going to work on uh, planting some kale. Uh, and this is on my front porch. And I'm going to plant uh, straight into this miracle Grow bag. And what I'm going to do is basically, I usually do this with a box knife, but I don't know where one is. So I'm going to try a regular knife. So what I usually do is cut out a picture frame where there's a little frame to hold the dirt in. And I do this for my uh, fall winter gardening. Uh, even when it got really, really cold outside in Texas that one year, um, the Miracle Gr Bag uh, still did grow. Now, before I get too far with this, I'm going to go ahead and punch some holes in the bottom for drainage. If you don't punch the holes in the bottom, uh, it will hold in too much moisture and uh, your kale won't grow right. Um, so I'm just going to punch a few holes in here. And then I might even do a couple on the side just so it has some drainage. Okay, now I'm going to finish doing my picture frame here. And I brought scissors in case I needed those, so I think I'm going to try that the rest with scissors might be a little neater so you see I, I just uh, basically cut out a picture frame a little bitty piece right here I'm gonna go ahead and grab that all right so I went ahead and put my kale into a bowl and I usually take a little bit of the soil out um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant I'm going to plant something else over here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of fresh soil to this little pot that's over here on the side. Okay. All right. Nice fresh soil there. Okay. So then... I'm just going to start poking holes with my finger, just every little bit there. And I'm just going to poke holes all the way through. And I went ahead, I received this uh, kale from Indiana Backyard Gardener. I will link her channel in the description box. It is Burpee Kale Lacinato Kale. No, no rhyme or reason. I don't worry about getting in too close together because it seems to grow just fine that way. I just poke as many holes as I can. And I usually use a whole entire package of seed in this kale bag. So I'll just drop one seed in each one. If you end up with two, no big deal. If you hear any uh, announcing in the background, uh, there's a football game going on at the school, which isn't too far away from my house. So if you hear that, that is the school. So if I... If I run out of holes, I'll just punch a few more until I use up the whole bag of seed. And believe it or not, this stuff will grow all through the fall and winter. And then when the when the bag is done, uh, you know, the, the winter season is over and the kale stop growing, I usually take the, 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 the bag of soil and use it into my other, I just compost it into another area, basically. So, there's just a little bit of, I don't know if that's seed or just a little leftover pieces, but 
Then I just kind of go through and close them all up at the top. All right, that's it. A little little home garden on the front on the front porch. My growing bag, my pot. I'm gonna try to see if I can find some parsley for in here. If not, I might find another variety of kale to put in here as well. And, of course, if it gets too cold, I can always cover it with a clear plastic tote. Uh, but it went through that really, really bad cold spell, and it seemed to be just fine. So, I think it'll be okay. So, I'm going to move back just a little bit because water's going to start coming out <laughs> of this thing. Just going to get a little water to it. And I like to garden on the front porch in the fall and winter because... That way, I see it as I'm coming and going. So if I have a bat, uh, you know, water or whatever, I'll just come by and pour it. I'll try to keep this pitcher handy so I can bring it out. And I'll come back and do a little update. I'm going to do a little winter gardening this year, fall, winter. Mostly just on the front porch and under my grow lights. I'm going to make a little, uh, a little playlist for my winter, fall gardening. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you'll give us a try. The Miracle Grow Bag of Kale. So, this is the type of kale that I am using. Thank you so much, Indiana Backyard Gardener. I hope you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind, guys. Okay, update on the tomato under the grow light. I did go ahead and plant another seed in here the other day. But in the meantime, right after I planted that second seed, I noticed there's a tiny bit of green in there. You really have to look hard to see it. But I feel like it's about to pop out at any time now. So maybe I'm just being a little impatient. Anyway, so I think the tomato is about to pop out any day now. But if I do end up with two tomatoes, I'll just pull one. It'll be okay. Anyway, hopefully I'll have some... Uh, dwarf tomatoes uh, growing under this grow light and I have a, a section where this can kind of go out of the realm and then I might have to put another grow light above it later after it starts to grow but anyway I think this will be good for now but yeah you could see a tiny bit of green in there if you look real hard anyway this is the update on the dwarf tomato plant